Welcome to MarkishG.TV. I am Chef Marcus Giuliano. I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is shrimp, Gulf shrimp specifically, and all Gulf seafood. Now, we all know about the BP oil spill that happened April 20th, 2010 or 2011. It was such a tragedy. Um, and the biggest tragedy is the ocean there, the water there is just not the same. And I'm not sure if it will ever be the same. Now, I understand the position of a lot of the businesses down there and the, the guys catching fish, um, people who own restaurants in Louisiana and the whole Gulf there. I, this is a very touchy subject. Unfortunately, BP is the one who should be 100% liable for all the damages that have been caused from this oil spill. I simply do not want to take anybody's business away from them. I don't want to deter people from, you know, uh, saying, well, you know, I, something bad about down there. I, the, the guys who are out there, who live there, who work there, who, who, who own vessels, they're all nice people. They're all nice people. I'm so unfortunate this had to happen to them. But me personally, I would not eat a single thing from the Gulf. And you have the chefs that have come up, you know, and said, trust our, you know, we're back in business and everything is safe and this and that. And, you know, I don't care what kind of celebrity chef you are or who you are. The Gulf is not the place to be eating fish from, especially shrimp. The chemicals they put on, the dispersants they put on, the oil that's there and still there in the Gulf is causing major, major problems. Now, I'm going to roll into a clip here. Um, this was a new documentary that's coming up. It's called Dirty Energy. It's on the whole thing. Please get a copy of this documentary and watch it and understand in depth. But I'm going to roll into a little quick video here a little clip from the movie that's on shrimp and it is shocking literally shocking so check this out watch this video what we're looking at are shrimp that were harvested in the Gulf of Mexico in the area that was impacted by the BP Deepwater Horizon disaster now over two years ago and here is a whole uh, passel of shrimp that were collected within this week in November so this is what the fishermen's catch, uh, catches look like now in the Gulf. Um, and what we have here is uh, a bunch of very sick shrimp. Looking at uh, some of these, what you notice is this blackened area through here. All this black is, is, is oil. That's what all this is compared to this, how clear and uh, orange brown this is. Uh, and, and here, I'll just drag this guy over. I mean, you can see that this is all blackened and tumors. This is where the oil is. It's in the gut and it's in the lungs. There are other abnormalities. Uh, this is a misshapen head, uh, sort of like a Down's syndrome child, sort of the bigger head, no neck uh, syndrome there. Uh, these shrimp there are eyes on most of these shrimp, however, these two in particular, um, no eyes and no even eye sockets. Oh, there it is. Uh, the eyes should be right, right here. And they should be little uh, black dots, you know? I have never seen this happen after an oil spill, uh, these mutated wildlife like this. Death, yes. Uh, loss of uh, n numbers in a population where the populations crash, yes. But uh, tumors, actually, yes. Um, but not what I, you know, I'm thinking of as mutated wildlife here. No eyes, no eye sockets, uh, you know, these other deformities. Um, I, I believe this was because of the dispersant. Um, extraordinary spraying of just mass quantities of dispersant at the surface, at the subsurface, day after day for months. 
And this is, again, not uncommon with shrimp in the Gulf these days. I'd like to bring in a normal looking shrimp so you have some comparison here. You can see where the eyes are. You also see the gut region is this beautiful uh, orangey brown color. Um, uh, no tumors. Uh, this, is, this is a healthy shrimp. This one as well with the segments of the body. Uh, you could, it's really hard to tell the segments apart versus some of these ones that have been in oils, you'll see this darkened ring here. Now, the significance of this is that if you were buying shrimp in a market, mostly they come with just the tails, right? So you'd just be getting this portion on back. You wouldn't be seeing the gut. You wouldn't be seeing the tumors. You wouldn't be seeing the ones with missing eyes. You would think you're eating a healthy shrimp. But uh, would it really pass FDA inspection if you know, you could see the head as well. Yeah, so let's take a little bit closer look at, uh, at these two. And um, here you can clearly see, uh, you know, the discoloration on the side, the tumor on, on this one, and the no eyes on this one. And this little guy has, this one has uh, eyes and no visible oil in its carapace. And then if you look at the underside of these two, you'll see uh, the problem continues in the, the shrimp with that showing no visible oil. This is all clean here, uh, clean looking, and in the one with oil and the tumor, uh, it's quite darkened and blackened. And again, in other shrimp that have been tested, this has been found to be BP's oil. What this, um, you know, the sample shows me um, is that there's a, it's a sick ecosystem. The poison is still uh, in the ocean. The poison is still in the habitat that these shrimp uh, utilize, which is pretty much everything. They, they're down in the mud, in the near shore for a part of their lives. They're out in the, uh, the shallow ocean, the deep ocean for part of their lives. So the habitat where, where they live is still, is still oiled. Um, and the shrimp, as indicators of this ecosystem, are picking this up and processing it, as is everything in the ecosystem, in the Gulf of Mexico ecosystem that's coming into contact with this. The turtles, the shrimp, the fish, the birds, the dolphins, the porpoise, the whales, everything is still being exposed to BP oil plus the toxic dispersants. But this, this oil is not going to go away clearly for a while. It's down in the mud. The bacteria are not able to uh, process it quickly. We're looking at a story that's going to be evolving over the next, uh, you know, probably decade or more. And I hope that people will not forget this and will try to stay current on what's happening in the Gulf of Mexico because what happened here could happen anywhere else in the world. Wow, now that you've watched that video, isn't that shocking to see all the tumors and the embedded oil? But what's worse off, what's scary is, you know, in a grocery store when you buy it or in a restaurant, it's peeled, the head's taken off, you'll never see the tumors. It could be grilled, it could be blackened, it could be fried, it could be sauteed. You would never see those oil spots or the tumors on the heads or the lack of eyeballs or the misshaped heads. It's all hidden when it comes down to the shrimp in the flesh there. Now, the good thing is Gulf shrimp is expensive, so most restaurants don't use the more expensive Gulf shrimp. They use a cheap farm-raised shrimp from Asia, okay? Which is just as bad, filled with just as many contaminants. The people who work there get sick. It's such an atrocity as well. You know, so you have bad shrimp that's a cheap shrimp that most most restaurants use. I mean most, I mean most restaurants use cheap imported Asian shrimp. There was an article in New York Times recently that they feed the shrimp sometimes pig feces. It's just, it's cheap food. Uh, you know, shrimp is not, I know shrimp is loved. Shrimp is one of people's most favorite uh, dishes seafood items, shellfish, but it's just not a good situation. If you eat shrimp, like in my restaurant, we get a 
very sustainable, very strict raised shrimp out of Ecuador. In fact, it's called the right choice shrimp. There's no chems, there's no packing chemicals, there's no phosphates, there's no antibiotics, there's no hormones. It's, that's a whole nother thing. But when you, if you're going to eat shrimp, the only shrimp that I would eat is something like that that I serve, where you know the farm, know where it's coming from, um, something that's farmed and certified USDA organic. There is a company in Florida that does do that in inland. They farm inland. Um, they're certified organic. And then the other shrimp I would eat, like Maine sweet shrimp, which are those wild small salad shrimp. Those are very sustainable, very clean, uh, no bycatch issues coming from uh, Maine. And then, of course, you have Alaskan spot prawns, which come in this season in September. And they are pricey suckers. These, the, the, these are the, probably one of the more, most expensive shrimps out there. But they are the closest thing to lobster. They're awesome. Uh, Alaskan spot prawns. Look for those when they're in season. They come frozen too all year too. You can buy, but they're in season in uh, September. That's when the new season is, and they're catching them left and right. They're actually caught in traps, and there's no bycatch. If there is a bycatch, I can let the bycatch go. That's the problem with the Gulf shrimp to begin with. They're dredged on the bottom of the ocean, and it harvests coral and all the wildlife. Um, the habitat, wildlife habitat on the bottom, and other species of fish, and there's all this kinds of bycatch. So I haven't been a fan of Gulf shrimp for quite some time, and I haven't been a fan of Asian shrimp. Um, so it leads you to doing much more questioning and asking when you're out eating or when you're buying shrimp. And I, you know, my kids know, you know, if there's shrimp, shrimp out at a party or shrimp out at a restaurant or something, you, you don't touch the shrimp. You eat shrimp that I have in my restaurant, but you don't eat shrimp when it's out and about because you just cannot trust it. It's really, really bad news. Um, so again, this video was not made to to downplay what any of these farmers, uh, shrimp uh, farmers are, uh, shrimp farmers, uh, the uh, the shrimpers down there are going through right now. I understand. I I, I don't want to make the situation worse, but you know. BP ultimately is responsible. They should be the ones taking care for it. I don't care of everything financially. I don't think they really are, um, according to that uh, that uh, that documentary that I mentioned. So uh, just be cautious when you buy shrimp. Um, that's it. The bottom line: be cautious, ask many questions, and don't eat it if you can't, don't know where it is, where it's from, uh, what happened to it. So I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit like, subscribe to my channel. Tons of subscribers here. I appreciate it. Pass the video on, share the video, and uh, educate other people as well. Thanks for watching.